coyotes. So Greg is showing us how to set up the live trap. There's a border collie here lost in Apple Valley. And uh, these folks have been seeing it every night at their house. So we uh, made arrangements to bring Ragham's live trap out here. And with any luck, we'll be able to apprehend it tonight. Greg has designed this live trap to be portable and easy to set up. We've only started setting it up, what, three minutes ago? Clips together with carabiners. Fits snugly in the back of a Jeep. It's made out of horse panels that you can buy at Fleet Farm. We're setting up the trap in the area where the dog is coming every night with the door facing the area where he's feeding, which is right underneath the grill right here. So here comes the first piece of the mechanism that trips the door. Greg designed this himself, and uh, the parts come to <laughs> we'll get it right. Right, right around one hundred and eighty dollars. But it's pretty. Uh, there too. Yeah, just clip it right into the high bolt. Pretty there. ingenious design here. Simple to set up. There we are. <laughs> Sort of forms a V shape here in the middle of the trap. Yeah, Offer stability? Yeah. All these things clip together without the need for tools, although we will be staking the whole trap to the ground to keep it stable. Okay. How tall is the dog? No. Uh, um, he's. Well, a, I. I think he's. Like a border collie. He is a border collie. Okay. So we want him to. We want him to. I think. I. In my opinion, of the way we work is, is, we want it to have to get up on its haunches to reach and grab the meat, and then it. Its own weight will bring it down and thus pull the, okay, the hockey it, puck yeah. down. So I'm gonna just raise this up a bit. We can all adjust it. I just made a fresh steak for him. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. You, I made one for you too, honey. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was just gonna say, yeah. <laughs> the stray dog gets the steak. Well, he feeds our dogs. They get chicken all the time. Chicken okay, now this is time. how you set the, the door. That's it. So it's done. It's done. It's all set. So he comes in. If this is high enough, he reaches up. We'll 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 put the stake here. And we'll so clamp he's it coming in. in that way yep. instead of this way. And then he yep. he reaches up and he. Like that. That's pretty quick. Yeah, Unlikely quick. you'll be able to to get out after he trips the. Right. He'll never get out. It's heavy enough, and then the. Then it latches down here. Well, at least it's big enough so he can stay in there all night if he needs to. Aren't you? Sure. So the key to this. Um, mechanism that trips the door is this round piece on the gate latch and very little friction there with the carabiner and it slips over the head of that latch very easily when the dog pulls down on the bait. So what's the secret to baiting this thing? I don't know really. Um, Good food. Yeah. <laughs> I think this the one trick is it's got to be some sort of bait that doesn't tear apart easy or crumble. Like a hamburger patty would be back because then you could just nibble off right. little bits. But having them, if, if he grabs a one little piece of a steak, the whole thing's going to want to come. It's not going to tear very easily. So I think that's one yeah. trick. So here comes the steak that um, husband does not get to eat. <laughs> That looks delicious. <laughs> it's a ribeye. <laughs> it's a ribeye. <laughs> 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 <la
I'm not well, this is one special dog. You may want to tear that in half and have one for tomorrow night in case we yeah. miss him. So well, I, just... I made four of them. So. Oh, well. There you go. We happen to have a friend that has that. It's just clamped down with the hockey puck and the butterfly or the wing nut. And now he's just rubbing some juice on the bottom of the hockey puck so that the dog is lured upward. It's far enough so something can't reach in from the outside. If you want to turn me up and put a pine And these are some treats to lure him into the back of the of the trap here. You'll hear it when when it triggers. So that is the trap all set and ready to go. And um, the dog usually shows up around what nine between nine and ten thirty. And uh, hopefully we'll have good news in the morning and get this boy in and get him checked out and hopefully get him to his owner.